let's begin with practical number 23 of geo application development using vivo.net title of this experiment is to implement program to handle runtime error using exception handling mechanism practical significance of this experiment is to deal with a runtime exception occurred during vivo.net application execution so to avoid sudden termination of application due to runtime exception we need to implement exception handling mechanism in any programming language in this experiment we are going to implement exception handling mechanism with respect to vb dot what competency level you will achieve at the end of this experiment you will be able to implement object oriented concept of exception handling in vb.net so directly i'll move to the theoretical background required to execute this application it requires the structure of try and catch a block we already discussed this as a part of theory session so directly i'll move to the sample program asks inside so write any program using exception handling mechanism so that's the experiment number 23 sample program is of type window application it includes one number one and number two i'm going to create division of two by the help of label one label two to represent number one number two text box one text box two to represent text box one and text box two label is to represent result of so when user clicks to the division number one i'm going to store as a part of a number two i'm going to store as a part of b c represent result of i'm going to calculate a c is equal to a divided by b if there is no problem at all if value of b is greater than zero you will get a resultant as c dot two string and attached to the label three if there is a problem with if the value of b is less than zero or zero it indicates that there is a divide by zero exception so the exception will rise and you will get message on screen as please enter value b greater than zero it avoids the sudden termination of application due to divide by zero exception so run this application and verify what happen if you provide a value greater than you will get division of these two if you provide value for b is equal to zero you will get message on screen as please enter b's value greater than zero so we handle divide by zero runtime exception with try and catch a block try block represents the space for situation where exception may arise and catch a block represent the handling mechanism with respect to let's continue with the next part of practical related question again includes two console type of application console type of application because there is a module and sub main function console type of application simply you need to select console application into new project mode and copy paste syntax specified as a part of so let me open pr1 syntax i just simply copy and paste syntax specified here with one more sentence to hold output on output window on screen console dot read method I run this application whatever may be output you will get you just note it down as a part of manual similarly there is another one question includes a user defined rise for exception so let me run this application practical related question second of 23 arithmetic operation result in a overflow so what happened if you're trying to delete here it is if you're trying to divide number by zero it directly indicate that there is a divide by zero exception so this statement will not execute you will get message on screen as what may be the error bounded with so message here you will get as overflow error here it is the arithmetic operation result in overflow of so you need to specify this output as a output window or whatever may be space available as a part of manual let's go to the exercise specified inside a very simple exercise this specified in this experiment let's go to the
exercise number one. See that is button click event. First of all, go to the UI. It includes label one, label two, label three to represent name, age, and height. One text box to input a value name, one text box to input a value age and height. When user click to submit, if all the values specified to each and every attribute is okay, I'm going to display as a part of label for you, label six and label for you and six. So when user clicks to particular button, first of all, I'm going to accept the height. I'm going to find out whether the height value is up to the required height. If it is okay, I'm going to raise a custom define or user define exception as a part of. So if height is less than for you, I'm going to throw manually. See value less than for you. It's not a standard case of exception, but with respect to my application, it's a case of exception so that I'm going to throw this with new object of height is positive class. What are maybe the object of height is positive class written here. I'm going to call this with value as height should be greater than five feet. So if value is less than for you, exception thrown as a part of height is positive value specified here come to the constructor of class and display as a part of message if value of height is greater than for you no problem at all you will get message on screen with height age and name of particular user on screen so let's run this application and verify output with respect to name of the user age of user, if the value of height is less than for you, see, you will get message on screen, height should be greater than five feet. So if you supply height of user greater than for you, see, you will get output on screen, no problem at all. So that's the end of experiment number 23. You just go through this video and complete your assignment. Thank you.